Hey everyone, this is Dan Blackwell, and on This Week in Multifamily, we're going to discuss how we helped an investor take over property after the close of escrow. All right, so we sourced this property off market for this investor. They acquired an apartment building here in Costa Mesa, all cash. And we're gonna shoot this video and discuss the steps in which we take to help this investor renovate this apartment building and get it stabilized. All right, so the first step is getting a budget put together on a property. And the first things we looked at is this property needs a lot of work. When we went out to the property with our contractors, the first things that jumped out were windows and sliders, checking on the roofs, paint and stucco updates, and a landscaping package. Now, from personal experience, I have overspent renovating apartment buildings before, just getting it carried away with it, and it has allowed me to kind of more or less get into a nice balance. So finding that sweet spot for the renovations, and that's what we're gonna do here. All right, so step two is out, this is a 14 unit apartment building, and out of the 14 units, one unit became vacant right after the close of escrow. So we went in with our contractor and got a quote, and we're pretty much gonna gut the interiors. They're all in pretty good condition, but there's just so much upside in rent that we're gonna decide to go ahead and gut out the interiors as they turn. We're gonna put in all new kitchen cabinetry, scrape all the popcorn, update the bathrooms with tile. We're gonna do vinyl plank flooring, all new base and case, updated all interior doors, and put in AC. All right, so the number one focus is to renovate the vacancy and fill it. Uh, that is the number one focus. Um, we don't want to start working on the exterior and leaving units vacant. So we're going right into updating the interior and determining what the maximum amount of rent that we can achieve in that unit. So that's the focus. While that's being completed, the exterior of the property is going to get painted. There's also a number of satellite dishes that a lot of them are not even operating um, the tenants have moved out and the dishes are still on the roof so we're going to remove the dishes off the roof uh, we're going to tune up the roof and get a five-year cert on that and then we're also going to go in and update the laundry room the laundry room we found out is on a month-to-month -month contract we're going to terminate that contract we chose to either weigh the options of extend the contract and have the laundry room go in and update the facility and make it nicer or buy our own machines and do it ourselves and we're going to end up moving on to have the investor buy the machines. We're going to help them with that, put in vinyl plank flooring, paint it, make it something really nice, and the laundry income is going to double. So that's a no-brainer. All right, so the next step is to issue out a rent increase. Once we have established uh, the building's going to be much nicer, we've provided a better product to the community, and we know what market rents we can obtain, there's naturally going to be some vacancies that come up for the people that decide not to stay. And one thing that we could do is we can go in and rinse and repeat. We can renovate that apartment unit and go out and put it out on the market and get tip top rent. Or what we could do, we're gonna weigh those options, is offer that vacancy to the existing tenant base and see if somebody wants to move out one of their units and move into a brand new unit that's been updated and has the high end finishes. Maybe we're not gonna charge tip top market. Maybe it's a little bit lower. That would incentivize somebody to move out. And that's a great workaround transitioning tenants into another unit through the rent control process because you can't take somebody that's living in one unit and take them to market, right? With rent control. But if they move into another unit, that establishes new tenancy. All right, so this investor paid cash for the investment. And the next part of the process is to help the investor pull out some cash. So to be competitive and acquire the building, they had to pay cash. So now we're going out and sourcing financing opportunities that match the client's needs and that are also very competitive in the marketplace. And we just selected financing. The buyer is going to acquire a 50% loan to value, 3% 10-year loan in the first five years is interest only and there's no prepay. So if this investor decides to want to do another cash out refi maybe in another year or two as there's just so much upside in this asset, they could do that and not get stung with a prepay. Or if they decide to sell, if something changes and they want to sell, uh, they can do that and again, not getting hit with some big prepay. So that's another thing we did to help this investor. We're going through helping them remodel the units. We're helping them with uh, financing as well, and then just keeping them up to date on what's transacting within the marketplace around their property. 
All right, so we are happy to help this investor with this project. They were really leaning on us to make sure that they were successful. They had the funds to acquire the building, knew they wanted to acquire multifamily real estate, but they never renovated an apartment building before. So it was a great match for our team to collaborate with this investor, place them into an asset where they're gonna improve and build wealth, and then also make sure that they don't make just mistakes or spin their wheels or waste time. So we put them in touch with contractors that we've used and it's just been a great success. So overall, it's, it's service after the sale. It's just not closing a transaction and then moving on. We wanna make sure that we're building a relationship with our clients, helping in them, making sure they're not getting stuck and just being a good soundboard. So overall, that's one of the reasons why we shot this video. I hope you find it of value. If you wanna talk one-on-one, -on -one, if it's about renovating an apartment building, making an acquisition or financing, feel free to give me a call. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.